What's up, you friggin' geniuses? So, in this video, I'm gonna break down the common divisibility rules and tests that we have that are really useful for finding multiples and factors, okay, especially of larger numbers. So, for example, if I asked you this question right here, is 7,950 a multiple of 2? Another way I could ask this question is by saying, is 7,950 divisible? Divisible by 2. Or I could ask it this way, is 2 a factor of 7,950? Okay, these three different questions are all basically asking you the same thing. All they're really asking is if this little number fits inside of this bigger number evenly. Or another way you could think of it is if this little number divides evenly into this bigger number. Okay, and how can we figure that out? Well, we could do some long division, right? We could divide 2 into 7950. But sometimes that takes way too long. And that's what our divisibility rules and tests are for. Okay, so instead of doing this long division, we can just refer to our table. So remember, the original question is, is 7950 a multiple of 2 or if it's divisible by 2? Okay, so a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Okay, 7950. Okay, so if this number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, that means it is divisible by 2, and it passes our test, okay? If this number does not end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, that means it's not divisible by 2, so it fails the test. Okay, so let's check this number. So the last digit right here in the ones place is obviously a 0, so yes, it passes our test. So that means 7950 is divisible by 2. And 7950 is a multiple of 2. And 2 is a factor of 7950. Okay, so that's how you use this divisibility table to check if a number is divisible by 2. Okay, so now let's move on to 3. Okay, so now we have this question. Is 231 a multiple of 3? Or is 231 divisible by 3? Okay, is 3 a factor of 231? Again, these are all asking basically the same thing. So, let's refer to our table. Okay, it says a number is divisible by 3. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Okay? What does it mean by sum of the digits? Okay? So literally, we're going to take 231, okay? And we're going to add up each of the digits. So it's going to look like 2 plus 3 plus 1. Okay? What's that equal? Well, 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay? So it says if the sum of the digits. Okay? So 6 right here is the sum of these digits is divisible by 3. Okay, so is 6 divisible by 3? Yes, right? 3 fits into 6 evenly, two times. So it passes our test. So now let's go back to our question. Is 231 a multiple of 3? Yes. Is 231 divisible by 3? Yes. Is 3 a factor of 231? Yes. Okay, so that's how you check if a number is divisible by 3. Now let's move on to 4. Okay, so now we have this question. Is 916 a multiple of 4? Or is it divisible by 4? Okay, is 4 a factor of 916? Well, let's check our rule for 4. Okay, and I'm going to call an audible here and add one note to this. Okay, so a number is divisible by 4 if the number is even and if the last two digits 
is divisible by 4. So there's two things we have to check here. So first of all, 916, right? Is this an even number? Yes, because it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Okay, so check. All right, now let's move on to the next part. If the last two digits is divisible by 4, what are the last two digits here? What would be 1 and 6, right? In other words, the number 16. Is 16 divisible by 4? Yes, 4 divides into 16 evenly, right? Four times. So it passes our test. So now let's refer to our questions. Is 916 a multiple of 4? Yes. Okay. Is 916 divisible by 4? Yes. Is 4 a factor of 916? Yes. Okay, so that's how you check if a number is divisible by 4. All right, so now let's move on to 5, which is pretty easy. Oh, okay, that's a lot of 5s. All right, so is 55,551 a multiple of 5? Or is it divisible by 5? Okay, is 5 a factor of 55,551? Okay, so our test says a number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is 5 or 0. Okay, that's easy enough, right? So this is our number, 55,551. The last number right here, is it a 5 or a 0? No, right? It's a 1. Okay, so it fails the test. So let's go back to our question. Is 55,551 a multiple of 5? No. Is it divisible by 5? No. Is 5 a factor of 55,551? Sorry, but no. Okay, so 5 is pretty easy, right? The number simply has to end in 5 or 0 for it to pass the test. So let's move on to number 6. Okay, so 6. Is 2052 a multiple of 6? Or is it divisible by 6? So is 6 a factor of 2052? Alright, so what's our rule say? A number is divisible by 6 if the number is even and divisible by 3. Okay, so first of all, let's check if it's even. 2052. Is this an even number? Yes, because it ends with an even number. Okay, so it passes the first test. And then the second part is, and it has to be divisible by 3. Okay, so is this number divisible by 3? Well, what's the rule for 3? Well, let's go back to 3 for a second. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Okay, so the sum of the digits, if you remember that, that was just adding all these numbers together. So we would do 2 plus 0 plus 5 plus 2. Okay, so 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay, so this is the sum of the digits, right? So sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes, right? 3 goes into 9 evenly, 3 times. Okay, but remember, we're checking 6, right? So, a number is divisible by 6 if it's even, which it is, right? We check that there. And divisible by 3, which it is, right? Which we checked right here, okay? So that means 6 passes both of these tests. So, is 2052 a multiple of 6? Yes. Okay, is 2052 divisible by 6? Yes. Is 6 a factor of 2052? Yes. Okay, so that's how you check if a number is divisible by 6. Alright, so let's move on to 7. Okay, so here's our question. Is 203 a multiple of 7? Or is it divisible by 7? Is 7 a factor of 203? Okay, so what does our rule for 7 say? A number is divisible by 7 if 2 times the last number subtracted from the other numbers is divisible by 7. Okay, so this one is obviously very confusing. So let me break this down for you. We're going to take it part by part. So a number is divisible by 7 if 2 times the last number Let's start there, okay? So 203 is the number in question, right? If 2 times the last number, what's the last number here? Well, it'd be 3, right? Okay, so let's do 
2 times the last number. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay, let's keep going. If 2 times the last number subtracted from the other numbers, okay, what are the other numbers here? Well, we used up 3, so the other numbers must be 2 and 0, or 20. Okay, so we're going to do 20 minus whatever we got here, which is 6. Okay, so we're going to do the subtraction problem right here, and whatever we get for our answer has to be divisible by 7. Okay, so 20 minus 6, what is that equal to? 14, right? Is 14 divisible by 7? Yes, right? 7 fits into 14 evenly, two times. So, we passed our test right there. So, is 203 a multiple of 7? Yes. Is 203 divisible by 7? Yes. Is 7 a factor of 203? Yes. Okay, so that's how you deal with 7. I know that one can be frustrating, so definitely just practice, you know, a couple problems, go through the steps one more time, and I'm sure you'll get it, okay? Just have a little patience with yourself. Okay, so now let's move on to 8. Okay, so now we have this question here. Is 3016 a multiple of 8? Okay, or is it divisible by 8? Is 8 a factor of 3016? Okay, so in order to figure that out, let's refer to our table. And it tells us a number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits is divisible by 8. Okay, so the number we're looking at is 3,000. 16, right? Okay, so if the last three digits is divisible by 8. The last three digits here are 0, 1, 6. Or in other words, we could just write that as 16 because this 0, right, if I put a 0 there, it doesn't contribute anything to our number. So this number is really just 16. Okay, so is 16 divisible by 8? Yes, right? 8 divides into 16 evenly, two times. So it passes our test. So, is 3016 a multiple of 8? Yes. Is it divisible by 8? Yes. Is 8 a factor of 3016? Yes. Okay, so that's how you check if a number is divisible by 8. We're almost done, we just got 9 and 10. Okay, so now we're on 9. So, is 8064 a multiple of 9? Or is 8064 divisible by 9? Is 9 a factor of 8,064? Okay, so what's our rule say for number 9? A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. Okay, so 8,064. So if you remember, the sum of the digits was just adding all these numbers up together. So we would do 8 plus, and we don't even have to include the 0 because it's not going to contribute anything, so we can skip that one. So we'll just skip to the 6, so 8 plus 6 plus 4. Okay, so what does this give us? 8 plus 6 is 14, then 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay, let's go back to our rule. What's it say? If the sum of the digits, okay, so 18 is our sum of the digits, is divisible by 9. Okay, so is 18 divisible by 9? Yes, it is, right? 9 fits evenly into 18 two times. So we pass the test. Okay, so is 8,064 a multiple of 9? Yes. Is it divisible by 9? Yes. Is 9 a factor of 8,064? Yes, sir, re Bob. So that's your rule for 9. Lastly, we have 10, and thank goodness it's an easy one. Okay, lastly, number 10, and you might already know this one. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Okay, so is 10,000 what? Is 10 million 1 a multiple of 10? Or is it divisible by 10? Okay, is 10 a factor of 10 million 1? So we have 10 million 1. So this is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. So does it end in 0? No, it ends with 1, right? So it fails the test. Is 10 million 1 a multiple of 10? No. Is it divisible by 10? No. Is 10 a factor of 10 million 1? No. 
So those are your divisibility rules slash tests. Whew, you made it to the end. I barely did. I need water. Hopefully, guys, it was helpful. If you need to review any of the rules, definitely just go back in the video and watch it over again and practice a couple problems because practice makes perfect or at least better. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's a whole pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need to check out, definitely check them out. I'll have some water by then and I'll see you there.